At Kyoto University, Tetsuro Matsuzawa's experiments are revealing that chimps can in fact develop an astonishing facility for numbers. He first trained a chimpanzee named Ai to touch the numeral that matched the number of dots. Once Ai knew zero through nine, Matsuzawa displayed the numerals helter-skelter on a screen. I quickly learned to touch them in ascending order. In the final test, Matsuzawa piled on. As soon as I touches the numeral one, white squares cover up the remaining numerals. Can the chimp possibly remember all the locations and touch them in order? The performance was really amazing. Much, much better than we have expected. But for I, learning numbers was a struggle. Almost the same amount of training was necessary to teach three, teach four, or teach five, or even worse. It takes more time to teach five and then six. I never got the aha feeling that children have when they realize that you just add one to get to the next number. In the United States, another ape shows a surprising gift for language. You gonna help get some sticks? Good. A bonobo named Kanzi, now at the Great Ape Trust in Iowa. I need more sticks too. Picked up English without being directly taught. in the refrigerator. Wearing a mask to avoid cueing Kanzi, researcher Sue Savage Rumbaugh tests his comprehension. Good job. Go get the ball that's outdoors. Very nice. Thank you, Kanzi. Savage Rumbaugh measures Kanzi's vocabulary at 3,000 spoken English words. While apes can master words and numbers, other research shows that something else is limiting their cooperation. Apes have emotional issues. Rivalry. Violence. And most of all, they're impulsive. In a celebrated study that investigated impulse control, Sally Boysen of Ohio State University asked chimps to choose between two dishes of M&M's. Now you watch real carefully. We're going to put one, two, three, four down here. Are you watching, Miss Briss? Chibi? We're going to put two in here. Which we give, give those to Sarah. Okay, well, I have to give these to Sarah. Then Sheba gets two. So Sarah gets four. And Sheba only gets two. Oh, too bad. The twist was that the chimp got the candy she didn't point to. Could the chimp learn to resist her impulse to reach for the bigger pile? You want Sarah to have these? It's okay. It's okay. You get to have that one. Yeah, Sarah gets five. And Sheba gets one. Oh, that is such a shame. Amazingly, chimps never overcame their greedy urges. They always reached for more and so ended up with less. And Sheba gets two, so Sarah gets four. See? Impulse studies have also been run on humans. In a classic experiment from the 1970s, a researcher gave a four-year-old a simple choice. So if you wait for me to get back, I'll give you this bowl with all of these gummy bears, okay? But if you can't wait, you can push that button like this, and then I'll come back and you can have this bowl with just this one gummy bear, okay? Okay? Okay, I'll be right back.
According to an inconclusive but intriguing study, the longer children resisted temptation, the higher their SAT scores were years later. In any case, the differences between people are small compared to the gap separating humans and apes. Maybe one of the first things that happened during our species evolution is we became much less emotionally reactive. Maybe that's one of the big differences that may explain why we solve problems so differently. We sort of got control of our emotions. Can apes be given skills to help them master their emotions? Now you watch real carefully. Sally Boysen trained a chimp to understand numerals. One, two, three, a two, then she repeated her M&M's experiment, but now offered different pairs of numerals rather than treats. You want to give two to Sarah. Okay, two goes to Sarah, and you get six. Oh, you Remarkably, girl. chimps were now able to learn what they couldn't before. Point to the smaller number to get the bigger prize. Symbols can make you free. They can help distance an ape from its impulses. But outside of the lab, apes don't seem to use symbols. Still, Ape minds seem to share many of the amazing features of the human mind. They have sophisticated social emotions. They can cooperate. They have culture. Their mental rocket is on the launch pad. Why isn't it taking off? The human brain rocket certainly had liftoff. On an average day, human beings file thousands of patents, post tens of thousands of internet videos, and think millions of thoughts that have never been thought before. Our closest relatives are different. On a good day, an ape is lucky to use a tool to crack a nut. What prevents ape culture from igniting like the human version?